Last night I got a very interesting message from my high school uh, calculus teacher. Uh, she sent me an email, I'll go ahead and show it real quick, with all the personal information taken out of course, but basically, uh, she said she got a 129 today. Um, our new computers have a keypad on the side, so even with a couple flubbed answers, I handily beat my old high score. Hope all is well with you, blah blah blah. Um, this is for a little game called Zetamac. Um, and if you don't know what Zetamac is, basically Zetamac is a website where you can play, like, it's basically an arithmetic game. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw it up on the screen really quickly. But this is the website for Zeta Mac, and basically you have two minutes, or you can set the time length to whatever you want, but two minutes to answer addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division questions. Now, she was a calculus teacher, but she also taught algebra, so I think to, like, compensate for all of the students, she decided to change the rule set that the default on the website from, instead of 2 to 100, uh, she changed it from... I think it, uh, she changed it from 1 to 10 for each. So 1 to 10 here, 1 to 10 here, 1 to 10 here, 1 to 10 here. And then you try and see how many math, like arithmetic problems you can solve in um, in two minutes, uh, which is all fine and dandy. I believe when I graduated high school, I guess I had the record for the uh, best score on this website. I think it was around 116. Um, I think was the record I had when I left and graduated. But I know I had record when I graduated, and my calc teacher was not far behind. And uh, she finally came back and did a wonder and absolutely destroyed me and got a 129. So I started playing offline for like 10, 15 minutes, tried to get some stuff, got like two 126s, I think I got a 128. I got really close to beating her, but not quite. And I thought it would be fun to like just make this into a YouTube video and just record myself trying to do these attempts and just seeing if I could beat the record. And then the first run I did after I turned on the camera, I beat her record. So here's the footage of me getting my high school record back. Um, and uh, enjoy. Okay, here we go. Take one. Probably going to be bad. Might try. I'll try and do a no reset, but we'll see. That's 10. Rough start, rough start. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, that is subtraction, not division. Nine, 48, 6, 10, 15, uh, 8. That's not division either. This is not a good one. Nice job, me. Kind of not doing great right now. Wow, that is an unfortunate error. That is also an unfortunate error. Also a rough ending. Oh my god, I got it first try! <laughs> first try on camera, wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna take me- that felt so bad. Oh my god. I thought this was gonna I thought this was gonna take a few attempts. Um didn't think I was just gonna knock out a 135 on camera. So yeah, I got a 135. Uh, it's definitely a score I'm very much proud of. I'll leave it for now and see if my high school math teacher tries to beat it. I definitely think I can improve it by a little bit. 14x is definitely way too much of a stretch, but I probably could get it to a higher 13x. Um also my reaction at the end, I I 
don't know what to say about me just like jumping out of my chair. I, I get really invested in these types of runs, I guess. I mean, see my past speedrunning history experience. Holy! But I mean, it was, it was, you know, it's still a lot of fun. It was fun to come back for a few minutes and get my old high school record back. So feel free to, you know, leave whatever score you got in the comments and tell me how you did. Um, stack up against me. I'm sure y'all are smarter than me and can beat it pretty easily. Um, and if my teacher breaks the record, I might just have to make another video. So until that happens, I'll see you guys in another video.